and welcome to episode 113 of RA Place Factorio C Block. Um, last week, or last episode rather, uh, we did the Atomic Sensor Arrays. Um, we unfortunately can't get uh, something with the waste byproduct um, until we get the blue science up and running then we can do a research that we can post process it so we'll have to focus on the other stuff for now so to for this so the atomic sensor arrays is one part and the other part is a laser array and for that we need uh, this guy, uh, this guy, uh, this guy, and nitrogen. So the only thing that we don't have quite up here that we do need is a glass. So let's make sure we're crafting a lot of belt and then we're gonna bring up the glass and we're just gonna do that alongside the gold. Um, yeah. uh, we'll start crafting some underground belt as well, we'll need some of that. Uh, we're gonna need to extend the landfill portion here a little bit. Okay, yeah. Um, and let's check where we're... I think we're doing glass somewhere over here, right? Let's see. Um, Oh, we do we even? Yeah, okay. We have a yeah, we have a glass happening over here, which is cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that right up here. So we'll just sneak that through. Um, I think what we want to be doing is yeah, let's just do it like this. Um, go underground here. Um, I guess why is this? Uh, I guess we're we need more of this stuff. Yeah, maybe we should balance that out and put down another one of you guys here. Like it's it's really looking like it's gonna be a problem. So let's let's just fix that up um, and build a crystallizer. crystallizer. Yeah, one of those. And we'll just put that. I hope we can sneak it in here, but if not, uh, we'll just move stuff around a little bit. Ah, it's exactly. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's go like this uh, and do an output, and then we're good. So this should be, be okay, and it it should double the output of that. So that's that's gonna be fine. Um. Yeah, let's grab some iron while we're here and some landfill while we're here, though I'm not expecting. Ah, oh, there's, okay, there's a decent amount again. I guess at least some of it. Oh yeah, and because I split this equally again, that's gonna help a lot. Okay. Um, yep, so this is okay, and we're gonna... Uh, bring the glass up here. Uh, I also want to make sure that the chest we have is going to be emptied. So let's put down an inserter here. It's going to pick up from here and then drop with the set over there. Uh, we're going to... Let's see how we're going to do this. I guess we're just going to run you guys over here and then like this. It's not too pretty but we'll make it work and uh, let's go so we'll go up here um, like this and like this and then we'll run you by here okay there's the glass so let's get that all the way up uh, we're probably gonna run out of belt so let's craft some more Or, oh no, this is kind of the halfway point. Uh, we extend this a little bit. 
Just paint that in. Yeah, we could save a lot of landfill here by being precise, but eh, I'm I'm good with doing this. As, like the organizational part is a lot more important to me than the resource efficiency. Like I'm really choosing here to uh, purposely like we're consuming a lot more because of this and we we might be able to do it more quickly if we were a little bit more efficient but i would only be able to do that if i knew in advance like where we would be going exactly like in order to do it more efficiently what you uh, need to to know is what's gonna be important and what's not gonna be important and once you know that then you can like do do complicated stuff but and and be be a little more a bit more tight with your space so if if i were playing vanilla then then i would be a little bit like pack it tightly a little bit more i would know which ones i want to do direct insertion uh, and which ones I, I can't do that or it's it's not going to be efficient. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just going to do it like this and we'll have, we'll have to deal with that. Let's see what... Yeah, so here, plastic pipe and brass is a lot longer. Does it have more capacity? Can we see that somewhere? I know, like... At least at some point, they these these materials used to have different capacities for um, fluid throughput, but maybe that's no longer the case. Um, yeah, this is going quite slow, but maybe it will be right up. Um, so, what do we want to do first? Maybe this guy. Convert glass gold. That seems doable. And then this guy. And then we'll bring that together. Yeah, we'll need these guys and then bring that together in here. Uh, we'll need uh, more pipe. So let's also pre craft that um, steam engine 3. It's probably something we might want to enjoy at some point. So let's get that. Why not? Um, maybe I forgot to connect the glass somewhere, or I I didn't have the underground belt to do it. That's more likely. Uh, so let's walk back in a bit and try to fix that up. Um, but rather, yeah, let's first go for uh, this guy. So we want to connect up the gold. Uh, yeah, let's just fill this in to make stuff easier. Uh, so we want to make uh, a gold and... Yeah, okay, technically it might make more sense to have the glass. Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's do glass and then gold copper. So in order to get that, we need um, some more belts. Oh yeah, there are the glasses. So I didn't actually forget to, to connect that up. The the belt is just real so. Um, so we'd have yeah, this would be fine. And then we're gonna need to actually place the splitter down here. Let's craft a couple more splitters as well then. Um, and you can go underground and then we'll bring you up and we'll bring you up and do a small squiggle here and like this um, so then what we want to be doing is going like here, uh, bringing it together uh, over here, and then yeah, we can go above ground if we need to. Uh, let's bring this a little bit like this. Oop. 
Oops, that's not what I want to be doing. Uh, let's just cut some more. Uh, I want to... Oh, yeah, that's not... I want to do it like this, and this side should be gold. Like this. Okay. We'll fill this in a little bit. And let's check. Yeah, it doesn't matter what... Oh, and this is also gonna give us a coppery waste byproduct. Okay, so then... Yeah, we'll... We'll want to connect that all up into a, s a single line. So maybe I'll arrange that. I think that makes sense. We can either bring it back or bring it forward. Let's do... Let's do an assembly machine like this. And then we're gonna make uh, you guys over here. Uh, we'll have two inputs and one output. And we'll run it like this. Pickup style. Yep. And then again, we wanna split with a filter to the right uh, filtering for copper waste byproduct okay um, yeah I'm just gonna put separate um, separate collectors for the waste byproduct for now and we'll bring that together later that's gonna be fine uh, yeah, inserter and we'll want to, oh, I guess, yeah, I want to run down to get some wooden blocks. I, think I don't actually want to be crafting this. Uh, so let's craft some transport belt instead. And we probably want some copper pipe as well. Craft some normal ones to make sure we can still do that. Uh, yeah. Let's grab some of that, maybe. Yeah. Two stacks should be fine. Uh, for the iron. Two stacks should be... Two stacks, yeah. Uh, let's put some stuff in this random chest. Oh, we can't put that much in there. This is... Is this a random warehouse? Or... Yeah, I'm just putting random stuff in there as well. Let's do that. Um, these we might need. This we can put in concrete. Not using that. Um, washing plant one might be useful. Tin ore we can put uh, in there. Um, yeah. Do we need this stuff for anything. Unburned clay brick. Radars, we don't care. Stone, we can put in here. Uh, yeah, and those laser arrays we want to put into the science pack thingy later. Yeah, now we have a little bit more. Okay, let's get landfill while we're at it. There we go. Over here as well, probably. Over here. What? Ah, uh, this is from. Wait. Oh, from the mud from this one. I guess I'm never picking that up because I'm. I don't know how that could be so much. Um, steam engine was researched. Let's get explosives. Um, get more landfill from over here, and then we should have. Do we not have? I could have sworn we had like a, a chest for wood blocks, but I guess not. So let's make that because I do want it. Uh, an inserter and a chest, and then oh, yeah, let's use a one medium power pole then. Or can we pick up that one? We can. Excellent. That's good stuff. Okay, let's uh, get some wood blocks over here and. Uh, let's limit this to three stacks, should be fine. 
Um, yeah. Okay. We've got the power poles again. Uh, we also picked up some random landfill that we'll need. Yeah, I think we're good to go. How are we doing over here? You're backlogged a little bit on this side. I guess that is because... Good. Do we have issues here? I guess not. It's kind of tricky. It's not really as balanced as I would like it to be. Um, yeah, well... Um, yep, so we have more of that byproduct. Yeah, and we just need it. Uh, yeah, so the other stuff we need. Uh, wh while I'm going up here, I can pull through one of the fluids that we need. We'll need both of these guys, so let's bring that up. Uh, Okay, let's go here then. And like this, I guess. Okay, uh, let's put down an electric pole. And yeah, then let's figure out. So we've got this, we then need the laser emitter as well, which needs a lot of the same stuff. Like, there's a lot of co copper going into into blue science packs, actually. And I guess the coppery waste product is sort of an artifact of that, but... Yeah. That's... Like, there's a ton of copper going in, in here. So we might need to... to um, switch over to... Uh, a lot more stereotypes rather than sephirite. filled in nicely so we're gonna get electronic circuits aluminum plate uh, copper plate and glass uh, numbers wise it makes sense to run the uh, copper plate with the glass and the circuits with the plates but I'm not sure we actually want to do that right um, we could split off and sneakily run this through here. I like that actually. Then we'll run the yeah, we'll run the glass with the copper. Um. Yeah, because here the ah uh, no, I I won't do that. Let's let's adhere to the belt. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go under here, or actually, no, we're not gonna go under here, right? We wanna actually enforce the bus, so we're gonna go, we're gonna make you go underground instead, and you as well. Okay, this didn't quite work out, so let's fix that up. Uh, so instead... You're gonna go uh, like this, but then in reverse. And we can connect it up here, because this is part of the fluid bus, so that's fine. Um, yep, so we're good on this front. We can pull this through, uh, fill this in a little bit. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll need more underground belts. Yeah, a lot more actually. I guess we're... Oh, we're almost out of stone. Interesting. Oh, okay. I don't know if we're still making stone or if we're turning all the stone into brick. Um, we might want to keep an eye on that then. Um, so, we have the electronic circuits. Uh, we have the aluminum plates over here. Uh, there we go. 
Um, belt wise, we're gonna make it go like this. Yep. So we'll run you through. Um, yeah, so what I am gonna do is run the glass with the aluminum and then the electronics with the copper plate just for management reasons. Like, we could just not care. Oh no. There's. This is terrible. This is really, really, really bad. Oh, that is. That is. Oh, there's lead plates on the glass belt. Not happy about that. Uh, yeah. What did I do wrong? Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's a splitter right over here. Okay. That's. Um. Okay. We'll move the buffer back a little bit. Right. That's gonna be okay. Um, like this. Uh, one, two, three, like this. Uh, that might also be why we're out of lead. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is... This is real annoying. Uh, let's see. Okay. What is the plan? Um, so we have a buffer for, yeah, we have a buffer for lead and we also have a buffer for glass. So what we can afford to do is just stand at the end or, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll run over the belt, I guess. It's, it's gonna take a little bit to clean up, um, but I do, I do want to do that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, so here, yeah, even here, I want to clean up all of this. It is, it looks like it's only on one side though, that's a little bit better. Yeah, so I, I mean, I do want to make sure to get all of it, but it looks like it's only on this side at least on this part. So let's just try to pick up as much of it as we can. Yeah, we're good here. I'll, yeah, I'll just grab some more glass with that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we're good now. Oh, I don't want to pick up all of that. Okay, let's put some lead plate in the buffer over here. That's not what I wanted. Okay, let's click and just control click this in here. Control click the glass in there. We're gonna be good. Okay, that's. Yeah, we're just gonna check out the end of the line to make sure that there's no lead plate left there. But uh, if we've got that, then I'm kind of. Uh, if we manage to grab all of it, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. This that could have been a lot worse. Like the fact that we were able to run along it and just grab the belt empty, and we had buffers to put stuff back into, uh, that just made this a lot less painful. Yeah, we're we're just gonna get this, and there we go. Okay, good stuff. Um, let's see. So we managed to get these guys. Okay, well. Next time uh, we're gonna try to make these two products and then we're almost there with the Unilift Atomic Manipulator.
aka Blue Science. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.